Photonics. Some call it the new revolution. Every computer and now almost every electronic device has chips which work on electricity. But instead of using electrical signals, photonic chips use light to process data. Smart Photonics is industrializing the chips on which the Eindhoven University of Technology has been doing research for many years now. The chips are made layer by layer. Think about Lego, where, uh, where you have all kinds of different building blocks and you can make everything. You can make a house, a ship, an, an airplane, a farm, whatever with the Lego. In electronics it's the same, you had a transistor, a capacitor, a resistor, and in the chips they can make all kinds of different functionalities with that. And we do exactly the same in photonics. So what the University in Eindhoven developed is all those kind of building blocks over the past years. And you can make all kinds of different photonic uh, uh, circuitry with that, photonic functionalities. Photonic chips can process data much faster and they require less energy. They can be used, for example, in sensors which use glass fiber. There's a company in the Netherlands called Technobis. Uh, they're located in Alkmaar. And they make applications to measure with a glass fiber. And what they do, and this is, uh, this is an example of that. So the chip that we made for them is inside here. I hope you can see it with the camera. And from this piece there is a glass fiber coming. And they use the glass fiber to measure uh, stretch or uh, tension or a bow in the wings of aeroplanes, for example. Or in this example, it's used for uh, a haptic feedback, which is uh, using glass fibers as, as a sort of sensors in the fingers, in the clamp of the catheter, uh, which goes into the abdomen when a doctor is doing an operation. Thanks to smart photonics, companies have the possibility to work with the photonic chips. So they, they just buy a small piece of the wafer where, they, where their chips are being produced, but that costs a fraction of what you normally pay to, to uh, develop chips. And now they can start testing it. And that means once it's cheap enough to do testing, then you also can challenge other things and, and try to find, try to realize good ideas that were too expensive to realize before, but this makes it possible. Not only the technology, but also the ways that we offer it to the market enables the, uh, this revolution. The emergence of electronic chips dramatically changed our lives. So, is it possible that photonic chips will have the same impact? Fifty years ago, nobody could ever think that you would have a computer like this or a camera like this. Uh, electrons, electronics, chips made that possible. Integrated photonics, those photonic chips that we make, are just at the beginning of the life cycle. The functionalities that we see today are simply replacing current functionalities that we know of. Evolution is starting and, and that's the reason why I dare to say in 20 years from now or 10 years maybe, you will find functionalities that you cannot think of today, for sure.